Um, I think that, that in terms of who benefits from, from a booster dose, I think the high risk groups benefit, meaning people who are have multiple comorbidities, people who are elderly, meaning over 65, or people who have uh, are immune compromised. Otherwise, I think healthy young people, if they've had at least three doses of the mRNA containing vaccine or two doses of the vaccine in a natural infection, I think are going to be protected against serious disease for a while. I think we created this unreal expectation that this vaccine can protect against mild disease. That's not true. You mentioned that certain groups, right? They should definitely go for this um, vaccine, but it was marketed and it was pushed to everyone. Why? Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't agree with that. I, I think that um, the CDC's own data or the UK data or the Canadian data or the Israeli data show that really only certain groups benefit in terms of protection against severe disease. You, you can't. Uh, so uh, therefore, I think those groups should be targeted. So I'm not sure why the uh, the, the CDC pushed forward with this. So, so basically, I, I was asking you about does this information, the fact that you're saying the group 65 and older, then there's this new report that that particular group could also have a stroke once they've had that shot within a matter of so many weeks. Do you think that this is leading to vaccine hesitancy, which is something we've been fighting from the beginning? I don't think it's it's creating more vaccine hesitancy. I think we already have a fairly healthy amount of vaccine hesitancy as it stands. I think I really wish that the uh, the CDC had really focused on those groups most likely to benefit, meaning you know the the high risk groups, and not tried to 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 uh, to push this vaccine booster vaccine for everybody because people have basically rejected it. I think the uptake has only been about 15 percent of those who were recommended. Hopefully that 15 percent are the high risk groups. But I think we have vaccine hesitancy anyway. I don't think this business about whether the vaccine caused strokes in, in the elderly, uh, increased hesitancy. I think we're already at a pretty high level of hesitancy as it stands.